So everybody's concerned about free radical damage. And they're concerned, oxidation, free radical damage, no. Virtually all the oxidation that's going on in your body is proper mitochondrial oxidation to make energy, to make ATP. And if you don't have it, nothing else that you do is going to do any good if you're not making ATP energy. Well, let's use the car as an example. That fender is going to rust, right? Because it's made of iron if it's exposed. Doesn't it take something to keep a shield on that fender to keep it up? Paint. Thank you. It took energy to put that paint on. And in due course of use, that paint, what happens to that paint over time? It can get scratched, right? And then what's going to happen underneath that? Exactly. That's pathological oxidation. So you have to put energy into that scratch now to repair it and keep it from rusting. It's normal for your car to get dings in it and to get scratches and for paint chips to come off. You have to put energy into it to keep that pathological process from happening. Therefore, you better be healthy and you better put some of that energy into your car in the form of touching up the paint or maintaining it so that the car is not going to have pathological oxidation. Oxidation is combustion. It's a transfer of electrons from a reducing agent to an oxidizing agent. So the electrons are going to come from something like hydrogen or carbon to oxygen. Oxygen's the oxidizer. In the case of your car fender, it's iron. It's got electrons and it rusts. And we would call that a pathological oxidation process. It's not over combustion, but it's a destructive oxidation process, which you don't want. The mitochondria, your cell furnaces, that's what they are, they're furnaces. There's fire in your mitochondria. Only nature, God, in his wisdom, channeled that fire instead of producing open flames, it channeled, nature channeled uh, the combustion to generate energy in the form of ATP, or heat, and heat instead of over flames. You need that. That's combustion. That's furnace. That's oxidation by a man named Randolph Howes, H-O-W-E-S, M-D, Ph-D, who's written a series of books on this subject and says, you don't want any oxidants. You want oxidation. The whole issue is getting oxidation going. Then you make energy. If you don't have oxidation to make energy, then you can't contain the byproducts, which are normal, and they're going on. And everybody's thinking, oh, these free radicals, these free radicals. The body has a continuum, it's a spectrum of molecules that are oxidants, that are pro-oxidants. Hydrogen peroxide is one, peroxynitrate is one. Bleach, sodium hypochlorite or hypochlorous acid is one. Singlet oxygen is one. Ozone is one. The body actually makes ozone. These are a continuum. The body, nitric oxide, that's a free radical too. Too much nitric oxide is known to cause damage, but not enough nitric oxide, you don't get vasodilation. Or in our case, we might not get the erections we want. So there's a continuum, there's a spectrum. Our body needs them. Our body makes these oxidants for a reason. And without them, we would have no immune defenses because our white blood cells actually hurl these as grenades against pathogens to knock them out. They don't have defenses against these while our own cells do have defenses, but it takes energy, proper energy to maintain those defenses. So if you're not making the energy to keep your defenses up, your shield, so to speak, then your own missiles can hurt you. When you're properly making energy and your antioxidant defense systems are up, your shields are up like Star Trek. Shields go up when you're under attack. It takes energy to have that, to, to keep that process going. So you, your mitochondria better be making energy, ATP, or you aren't going to do very well.